Hey, it's Dr. Eric, the fitness physician, where I talk about all things related to hormone optimization, hormonal fitness, muscle medicine, peptide therapy, and much, much more. So uh, often I do a lot of talks on Testosterone Tuesday. I did a short one last week talking about some of the supplements that are involved with testosterone. Obviously, there's a lot more than what I'm going to talk about, but these are the big ones. Um, this is part two, so tune in for last time if you missed part one. Uh, the B vitamins, of course, are very important, not only for testosterone, but for many, many functions in the body, fully is uh, one of the B vitamins that are intimately involved with optimal testosterone levels. If there's a deficiency, this can adversely affect your optimal testosterone levels. Uh, B6, same thing, but also involved with prolactin. Uh, it actually can help uh, reduce prolactin levels if they're elevated. Typically, this doesn't happen very often, but of course, if you have deficiencies or there's some issues and your prolactin's high, that can adversely affect testosterone production by affecting things up in the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus, etc. So we don't want that. So that's vitally important. Vitamin D, of course, is does so many things in the body. We're learning more about, of course, we read about all the time now, especially with virus, virus, uh, viruses, immunity, COVID, et cetera. But optimal vitamin D levels are massively important for overall immune function, for hormonal health, and much, much more. It just does so many things in the body. And as we've talked about before, vitamin D is not really uh, a supplement or vitamin per se. It's actually a hormone. It's a pro-hormone. It interacts with many uh, of the hormonal pathways, especially testosterone. So a vitamin D deficiency can definitely adversely affect your testosterone production and metabolism, so it can cause symptoms related to testosterone deficiency, as well as many other things. Uh, vitamin K, also an integ integral with uh, vitamin D for bone health, the cardiovascular protection, and much, much more. But it's also the rate limiting step uh, for testosterone metabolism. There's a certain uh, enzyme pathway, it's called this uh, CYP at 11A, a little, uh, you don't have to worry about the details, but basically vitamin K is crucial for proper metabolism of and the uh, rate limiting step in testosterone production metabolism. So you, it's good to have that elevated. And again, it's also important for vitamin K to be involved with, as I mentioned, cardiovascular protection and bone health. That kind of gets forgotten about when people talk about things that are you know, maintaining strong bones and preventing osteoporosis and things like that and cardiovascular protection. We'll talk about vitamin K1 and K2 in future videos. And the last one is vitamin E. Vitamin E is kind of a mixed bag. And some people don't do well with it. Some people do. And sometimes that can come down to genetic abnormalities or genetic SNPs, which can we can evaluate on a genetic analysis and see if it's beneficial because in some people they're genetically predetermined that actually vitamin E can cause some inflammation, cause some problems. You, you want to avoid that. Now this is especially problematic with the synthetic forms, right? This, the, the DL uh, tocopherols, those are not good. You want the natural version, if anything, and you want all of them, all the tocotriols and the tocotrienols, I, I can't talk today. So there's uh, there's different kinds, there's, the, there's, uh, there's three, uh, multiple different kinds you hear commonly uh, about the, the uh, alpha, but there's the gamma, the delta, all these different forms. And it's not just the uh, tocopherols, the tocotrienols are massively important for cardiovascular protection, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effect. And um, there's a, a few different forms out there that provide this and they're much more beneficial than the synthetic form. So you'd be careful when reading your labels. So that's very important. So the synthetic form is bad in general, especially for testosterone. So these are some uh, different supplements that can affect your testosterone in a positive way or negative if you're, if you're deficient. So pay attention to that. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Uh, uh, tag your friends, share it with others. And let me know what you want to talk about, anything related to hormones, peptides, hormone optimization, and much, much more. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting, I'm dealt, as I talk about with Primex Cellular Nutrition and Fitness, I want to do cellular, treat the body at the cellular level. So I'm kind of merging basically hormones, peptides, uh, basically functional medicine and precision medicine and uh, personalized medicine all melding into cellular medicine. So um, that's what we're doing, treating by the cellular level. We're working with a great group of docs in the cellular uh, medicine world and we're all learning together at the forefront. So it's very exciting. We're learning new things every day, trying to share and get the word out to teach everyone how and how to optimize their bodies and their health uh, for the 21st century and beyond. So anyway, reach out to me. I'm doing telehealth and telemedicine com uh, consultations anywhere. So if you want to reach uh, work with me, uh, reach out to me. I'm also doing a dual consult with my partner, Alec Gilbert. We do a great one-two combination. We'll recover everything. Uh, hormones, nutrition, fitness, and much, much more. So reach out and everyone have a great week. And we'll stop you soon.